obviously, and I have a lot more math games than I do language arts. So if you're new here, I'm Sue from the Homeschool Front blog, and this is my YouTube channel, Life in the Trenches, where I share all things about homeschooling and how you can make it simple and easy. And as some of you know, I am a former middle school history teacher, and I am currently homeschooling my 12, 8, and 5-year-old. All right, so math. We have a lot of games and I'm here to share with you and I'm gonna to try to make this as quick as possible. And of course, all the links for each of these games are down below so you can easily access them. First is phase 10. Phase 10 is just one of those awesome games that we like, love to play. Card games are just really awesome. Uh, Minecraft, not Minecraft, Uno. We just have the Minecraft version. I think we also have the traditional regular version as well. Another game that we have is Tiny Polka Dot. I believe the same people that made this tiny polka dot. Tiny polka dot's more for like the little, the little kids. And then there's Prime Climb, which is for older kids, and I believe it is from the same company. Next we have Election Night, which is another awesome game. It can be both for social studies and for math because you can either do what is it, addition and multiplication versions are included in here. I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth between what's good for big kids and what's good for little kids. Here we have sums in space and money bags. And then this one, my daughter loves playing with my husband, is Monza, and it's like a, a racing game, a counting racing game. So we love Haba, which is like a German gaming company. They make really good games and puzzles too. And yeah, it's one of our favorites. Next we have Sum Swamp. And then this one, my eight-year-old loves is Count Your Chickens. He's a little chicken obsessed, so Count Your Chickens. This one's for little kids. Frankie's Food Truck Fiasco Game, a shape-tastic recipe for fun. And this is from Educational Insights. They also have really awesome games for kids, for little kids. Another one from them is Shelby's Snack Shack Game, a counting bonanza. And now I'm gonna get into some of our card games that we have. Like I said, we have a lot going on. Two card games that are kind of double duty with social studies and math. Mathematical Battles, this one's North versus Egyptian. So it's an educational dueling card game that melds myth and math in the battle for answers. And I have another one, which is Celtic versus Greek. And the next we have Proof, which is all about mental math and then not really a card game, but it's kind of like dominoes, but it's all about clocks. So that this is a pretty cool game when you want to teach your kid how kids how to tell time. And then for the little ones, we have some buttons. <laughs> it's Pete the Cat and his math game, these math games. And then next we have Zeus on the Loose, which is kind of like mental math, I think and uh, studying about Greek mythology as well. We also have Clumsy Thief, which is a money game. It's like a fast paced money game. And we have Place Race, which is small place number value. I think it's like up to a thousand. And of course, from Think Fun, we have this little portable game. This is like a very portable game, Dice. <laughs> And if you're interested in learning about other types of game schooling you can do in your homeschool, make sure you check out this playlist here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.